Happy New Year, everyone. My name is Chris, and thanks for joining us on Southside Online. In case you didn't know it, we're doing something a little bit different today by meeting online only. We do this every year to give our incredible volunteers a day of rest because they serve week in and week out, investing in the lives of children, teenagers, and adults. So to our volunteers out there watching, we can't thank you enough. I don't know about you, but can you believe that it's already 2024? Well, I hope this last year was a great year for you and that you really had a, a, a special Christmas season as well. And for some of you, I know that the holiday season was challenging. I've talked to some of you and if you would say, yeah, Chris, that's me. This Christmas brought about difficulties due to loss or loneliness or personal struggles. I want you to know that God loves you, that we love you and that we are here for you. And if you feel the need, you can submit a prayer request on our website, southside.org slash prayer. And we would love to connect with you and pray for you for that specific need that you have. And I promise you that we will. As we go into this new year, maybe you're like me and you're setting New Year's resolutions. Well, you know, I love New Year's resolutions. I don't necessarily love my track record with how I've kept them, but at least it's an opportunity to start with a clean slate. That's how I think of it anyway. There's no better time than the start of a new calendar year. A lot of resolutions are a habit to stop or start. And it may be saying no to more things or yes to something new. The most popular ones are around exercise and weight loss and eating healthy and spending time with family, but most importantly around something to start or to stop doing. Personally, my go-to is around a habit I commit to doing daily, like going to, to read my Bible and pray for an hour every single day, which you would think, well, Chris, you're supposed to be doing that anyway. You're a pastor, but hey, we're all human too, okay? Uh, but I love streaks and I love competition. So sometimes it's to go to the gym every single day. And this year I kind of put myself in a dilemma because I said yes to rejoining my men's basketball league team, which has forced me to go to the gym. Most years things go well until I hit that day that I want to sleep in. I want to hit the snooze button. I'm sure you've been there. Or maybe a meeting gets scheduled that interferes. And then just like that, my New Year's resolution just got squashed. Well, even though it was just a great habit and a great resolution, th the thing is, it's okay that I failed because my resolutions are not about trying to change my life overnight or setting unrealistic expectations for what I think my life should look like. For me, it's using this time to reflect and to, re to pray about where I am and be intentional about where I have opportunities to grow, whether it's personal or professional or spiritual. So here's what I would love to challenge you with today. Take a moment to think about your journey this past year. What did you learn about yourself? What did you learn about your life, about your relationship with God? Remember, it's not just about physical or personal improvement goals. Consider how you can deepen your connection with Jesus, not just individually, but within the fabric of your family. This is an opportunity to set meaningful goals that go beyond surface level changes. Maybe it looks like praying more. Maybe it looks like reading the Bible more or joining a small group where you can grow and be challenged in your faith. It may be making a New Year's resolution to invite others to come and sit with you at a Southside service. That would be incredible. I encourage you to take some time and set a goal for how you can actively engage in your relationship with Jesus in the coming months. And here's a quick tip that I'd love to share with you from my own personal experience, okay, with resolutions. Even if you miss a day or somehow whatever resolution you set gets thrown off by a day or two, and then that daily or weekly or monthly goal gets messed up, don't give up, give yourself a pass, okay? I found myself saying at times, oh well, I guess I failed again this year just because I missed one day or one week. But don't let this be the case in your life. And I'm speaking to myself just as much as I'm speaking to you, trust me. I've heard it said like this before. You know, if you had one flat tire, you wouldn't slash the other three. You would change the flat one and keep moving forward. The purpose of a new goal or a resolution is not to be perfect, but to see God change our lives. And you know, I can't wait to see how God uses these resolutions in our lives, in our families, in our churches, in our community. So 
for our online service today. We're doing something different, and I wanna invite you in to worship with us, and then to visit our YouTube channel, Southside Church Georgia, and scroll through maybe our past services and sermons from this past year, and pick one that maybe you missed. One of my favorite series that we did this past year was called Under the Circumstances. I heard so much from people about how it changed their lives. It was a fantastic and really a great one to share as well. Whatever you choose today to watch, I pray that you feel encouraged and inspired. Before we move to worship and the message you choose, I just wanna say, I hope 2024 is all that you dreamed it would be, and even more so, all that God wants it to be. We'll be back online and in person on Sunday, January the 7th. Happy New Year, and we hope to see you real soon.
choice but to be. 